In this video, I'll show you how I create these minimalistic temperature and humidity cards for your dashboard. I use these as a header card for all my room pop-ups. I think it's quite nice and I don't need anything more fancy. For this to work, you will need button card, mini graph card, and card mod from Hacks. I'm going to start by creating the graph for the background. For this, I use mini graph card. I first add an entity and a color. When you do that, you can see that the card looks pretty good in itself. But this channel is about customization, so let's take it a bit further. I'm going to set the line width to 0, and the height to 100. Then I'm going to use the show option to hide everything except for the graph. Lastly, just to be sure it won't be in the way later, I remove the background and border with the help of card mod. That's the graph finished. I then just copy this code and save it into a notepad window to use later. After saving the graph code into a separate window, I remove the code completely and start creating the main card. For this, I will use the custom button card. I will then set up a couple of variables and custom fields. This will just make it easier later on. The temp variable will display the room temperature. This is just a simple Java function to display the temperature state. We add three square brackets and type return in between. I then use a simple math function to round out the temperature number to one decimal. After that, I add a degree sign. If you don't know how to create this sign, just Google it and copy from there. Now that we have the variable, we can call this in the temp custom field. Again, adding the three square brackets and two backticks. Between the backticks, we can type dollar sign and curly brackets, then we can call the variable. I just added some text to the hum variable to be able to test the code. We also need to remove the graph custom field to get rid of the error message. You should now be able to see the temperature. We can then copy the temp code and paste it into the hum variable. Then just update the sensor to a humidity sensor and change the sign to a percent sign. The last element we then need is that graph that we created. So let's add the graph custom field again. This custom field will be a card and we can paste the code we created at the beginning. We just need to select the code and add two indentations by hitting tab twice. So last step is to make it look nicer. The styling for this card is pretty simple. We just need to edit the grid, the card, and our two custom fields. To get the alignment correct, we just need to tell the card that our only grid cell is the temp custom field. Then I'm just adding some padding to the card. Then the magic part of this tutorial, positioning and moving the graph to the background. To do this, we first set the position to absolute. With absolute positioning, we also need to set a width, as well as placing it based on the left and bottom edges. So the width is gonna be 100%, and left and bottom will be zero. Then the temp styling is just basic font formatting. I place it to the left with justify self start. I also add a text align left just to be sure. My font size is quite big with 66 px, same as the line height. I set the font weight to 300, but you can play around with these values as you want to. Lastly, I just fix some of the paddings. The very last thing I want to do is make the humidity font size much smaller. To do that, I'm going to add some basic HTML to the hum variable. At the beginning, just after return, add two apostrophes and a plus sign. Between the apostrophes, you can add a span HTML tag with styling. Then in the styling, we can set the font size to be 0.3 em. And for good measure, I add a closing span tag to the end as well. And that's it for this video. As always, if you just want to grab the code and at the same time help support this channel, you can get it from the Gumroad link in the description. I hope you learned something useful. Thanks for watching. Until next time.